Oh, so this is uh, this is a little different. Today I'm drinking throat coat. Uh, throat coat tea. Why? Because I'm sick. So if uh, if I sound like trash, if I sound like garbage in this video, it's because I'm sick. Cut me some slack. <sighs> All right, let's back up a little bit. Um, let's see here. 2007, 2007, uh, 12 year old Jared. That's who we're talking about right now. Jared Winkler, 12 years old. Uh, I grew up a pastor's kid. My parents pastored a church in uh, Mississippi, which is where I'm from. And uh, I have two siblings, two older siblings, a brother and a sister. And so um, every Sunday, every Wednesday, we went to church. That was just what we did. And um, I'll never forget this one Sunday night. Again, I was 12 years old. My dad comes to me and says, Jared, uh, Trevor, who was our youth pastor, but he was also our sound guy, Trevor's not gonna be able to make it tonight. Is there any way that you would consider setting at the soundboard and just watching it? Just make sure it doesn't, you know, catch on fire. And so I agreed. I was like, yeah, sure. Don't, you know, as long as I don't have to do anything. And uh, so, I found myself that evening sitting at the soundboard while the band and the vocalists did what they did. I didn't mix or, or really touch anything. I just kind of let them do what they were doing and I just sat there. Um, but I found myself intrigued and enthralled by the, the faders and the lights and the knobs and just everything that was happening on the soundboard with the speakers, with the band. And So that evening when, when service was all over, I went and found my dad and said, hey, is there any way you would start letting me do that from now on? I just really enjoyed it. I didn't really do anything. I just, I don't know, something about it was very, very interesting to me. So he agreed and going forward, I started to uh, figure out how to mix the band, you know, how to mix the vocalists and, and how to create an atmosphere of worship by uh, bringing this up or bringing this down or, or, you know, mixing this better or finding a better, you know, tone for this. It was, there was just something about it that was just, mm, it just, it captivated me. Fast forward to today. Uh, I'll be 24 in about a month, and uh, I still, to this day, am obsessed and enthralled with the process of mixing audio and just good audio in general. When I hear a good song, like on the radio, and it's just mixed well, I just, mm, there's something about it. I just, I can't get enough of it. Or, or you know, at work, because I work at the church in, in the production department, and sometimes uh, I get to I get to mix front of house audio for our band and our worship team and there's just there's something about just finding a good mix and that love of audio goes beyond just mixing front of house or, or running sound or something like that it bleeds off into my videos and my work and that sort of stuff when I hear a video that just has good audio there's something about it because you don't realize just how much good audio plays into the experience of watching a video scientists actually say that you are able to receive stuff better and more clearly through audio than you are through your visuals. For example, if I took a movie clip and I, I cut out all of the audio and I just gave you the footage. I just, you just sat and watched the footage with no audio whatsoever. Uh, it would be kind of hard to figure out what's happening because you can't hear what anyone's saying, you can't hear any sound effects, you can't hear music. It's just kind of hard to pick up the tone of like exactly what's happening. However, if I sat you down at a table with no screen, no visuals, but I gave you a pair of headphones. Does you let me know what's happening here? Do we? You need men in these buildings. There are people inside and they're gonna be running right into the line of fire. You take them to the basement, or through the subway, you keep them off the streets. I need a perimeter as far back as 39th. You sat down and started listening. It wouldn't take very long for you to figure out exactly what the storyline was and exactly what was happening. You know, who's talking and what are they talking about? And are there explosions in the background or did a car just go by? Not to mention here on YouTube, you know, if you go and watch a video with a little bit of shaky footage, you can for the most part kind of get by it. But if you start watching a video with just trash audio, it's nearly impossible to get through the entirety of that video because you're just like, nah, this audio sucks. Just, you know, click off, move on, you know. 
I'll, I'll watch something else. All of that to say, good audio means so much to me. And for the longest time, I've kind of had to settle with my audio. I just recently upgraded to the Video Mic Pro Plus by Rode, as most of you know. But I'm, uh, I'm very excited to announce something new that's happening right now. And uh, I'd like to show it to you right now. This. This, my friends, is the NTG 4 Plus Boom Microphone by Rode. Now, before I go any farther, let me go ahead and get something out of the way. Rode's not paying me to say this. Uh, they are, in a way, sponsoring this video because they did send me this microphone for free to test out and to try and start using for my YouTube videos going forward, but uh, they're in no way, you know, paying me. They didn't tell me what to say or anything like that. These are all just my own thoughts and my, my own experiences and that sort of stuff, but I figured now would be a good time to introduce you guys to what will be my new microphone going forward. And uh, yeah, just I'm going to show you guys kind of what it looks like. So it says right here, it says NTG4 Plus directional shotgun microphone with rechargeable lithium battery. You guys want to see the new mic? I'm sure you probably do. So let's, uh... now I know what you're thinking to yourself, Jared, how does your audio get any better than this? I mean, this sounds pretty stinking good. And, uh, oh, you know, you know what? It, it actually doesn't get any better than this because I've actually been using the microphone for the whole video. Ha! You just got duped. This is the old mic, by the way, the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. I'm still using this microphone, by the way. Uh, it's just, I'm not using it for this video anymore. I've been using the NTG4 for the entire video. I know, you were kind of like, wow, this audio sounds crazy good already. How could it get any better than what it already currently is? It doesn't get any better because I've been using the microphone for the, you got duped, bamboozled. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, this is the new microphone. Hopefully you like the way it sounds. I personally actually love the way it sounds. Uh, this is actually not the first time that I've used the microphone either. I actually used it for the last video, the one where I unboxed all of the Loyal Strickland stuff, the, the wallet and that sort of stuff. If you haven't seen the video already, I'll I think it's, I should link it right here, either right here, right. I'll link it somewhere. You should go watch the last video. It's a, it's a fun one. Anyways, so all of that to say, this is the new microphone that I will be using going forward. Rogue did send me this microphone for free, which to be honest, I, I can't explain to you guys just how big of a compliment that is to me. So I reached out to them through Twitter and I said, hey, I love your microphones. I've been using the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus and, and I'd really like to use one of your, you know, one of your boom microphones, please, you know, if you would consider it, you know, and honestly, I was never expecting a reply. So, and they replied within just a couple of hours and they said, actually, we have seen your videos and we have seen your photographs and they're actually really good and we would love to sponsor a video for you. We'd love to send you a microphone for you to use for your YouTube videos going forward would you be interested in using the NTG 4 plus which is crazy because to be honest they've got the NTG 1 and the 2 and the 3 and the 4 and the 4 plus and I personally was not expecting for them to send me the nicest one out of that line but they did and that's super exciting because my audio game just I mean it's like it's it's up there now. So a couple of facts that you probably want to know before you purchase this microphone. Uh, number one, it does require an XLR cable or a microphone cable. So when you plug the microphone in, you can't run the cable directly into your camera unless your camera has XLR ports. Most DSLRs just have the regular 8th inch microphone jack. Uh, but yes, it does require an XLR, so you're going to have to get an external recorder like this one. This is the uh, this is the Zoom H4n. Uh, this is what I'm using to record the audio. And so yeah, you'll have to run the cable off into the external recorder, and then whenever you start working on your video later, you'll have to take the audio from the recorder, the audio from your video, sync them up, and then mute the audio from your camera in order to get you know. I mean, you you get what I'm saying. Also, you have to use some sort of power for the microphone. Uh, now, what's cool about it is they actually send a lithium battery inside the microphone uh, that's rechargeable. So you can take a cable and you can plug it in through the back of the microphone and then you can charge the microphone up and get another 150 hours of use out of the microphone before you have to turn around and recharge it again. 150 hours, that's a crazy amount of, I mean, who, I, I don't know if I'll ever have to recharge this microphone ever in the history of ever. I just, I don't know. That's a lot of hours, guys. To the people at Rode who sent me this microphone and took a chance on myself and on this channel and, and my friends and my fans and my
my followers. Thank you so much for, for sending this and taking this chance on me. Um, if you did like this video, if you're interested in this microphone, I will link it down below. I'll link the other microphone that I used as well, the Video Mic Pro Plus. And uh, if you guys would like to see a comparison between that microphone and this microphone and, and maybe some of the other microphones that I have, just let me know down in the comments. I'd love to make a video and just kind of show you guys, you know, what those microphones sound like side by side. And uh, yeah, maybe that could be a maybe that could be a fun next project for us. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, bell, you know, those fun things. Uh, you guys have a great remainder of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. No, 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 no. I told myself I'm not gonna do that. I need something, something original, something original. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have a great remainder of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.